I'm Skip West. I'm chair of the Management Advisory Council at Mason. This was an amazing entrepreneurial event. It was so awesome to see the students presenting their ideas, graduates as well. Super ideas, super concepts. And it is phenomenal that Mason is doing this. Thank you, George Mason. Uh, I got to say, when we went into this uh, competition, we heard about it. We heard about the money. We thought, hey, this is a great uh, opportunity to you know, fund our project. Um, we didn't really know a lot going into the program. But the Patriot Pitch uh, program connected us with a very experienced mentor who has a miles beyond anything I could have uh, thought of. We thought it was all going to be school of business. We thought yeah. all of them would be business guys and our pitch would be like, hey man, we're two guys in dorm room. But uh, it was people from everywhere, all walks of life. It was very diverse. We've been talking with uh, some several international students. A massive benefit of Mason's facilitation of bringing in international students in general to the student body is that in our classes, we already had pre-existing connections with several people from countries abroad. Uh, so we already had uh, user perspective on our, on our products. Um, the kicker is when you get on stage, you're terrified, you know, you're scared. Uh, so this is it, the whole process of going with the mentorship, uh, preparing for this competition. It's good practice, we think. I'd say um, I, I was just really happy to have a mentor because, you know, he overlooked everything. And, you know, I feel like I actually, instead of just a mentor, I gained a friend, basically. That's true. He was, he was almost like a father figure to us. That's true. That's true. Um, going into it, our first experience with Mr. Jim Fontana is something I'll remember for the rest of my days. Your, your pitch, it needs to be boom, boom, boom. It's not good right now, right? He broke us down, but then he built us up. It, it was a beautiful experience. Transformative. I started as a student, uh, English as a second language. When I came to America 13 years ago, um, so let's say that this is my story. This is how I got to the point um, to, in 10 years, been in America, how I got here. You should have seen her day one. I was so lost. Thank you so much. This is just the biggest thing that I can connect, being being international student and having having opportunities, using these opportunities. I graduated this year. I didn't even know that such competition exists. And uh, just because I was um, working with some good mentors, they like told me about this stuff. Uh, what is your, what would you say to fellow international students that want to be entrepreneurs in a place that isn't their home country? Just say that you are from other country and just talk to people that you have an idea. And this is something that would definitely bring, like somebody will hear your idea and would be glad to talk to you, to communicate with you, to help you, to give you mentorship, a good advice. And um, I think it's going to be a good start. And one thing is, there's a lot of resources that she didn't know about, we didn't know about, that probably most international students don't know about. Um, someone else just randomly told her about this. So there's a lot of resources that are available to everybody if you just can go out and look for them. And, you know, English was not her first language, That's but people problem. are still very understanding and sympathetic, and so it's, it's a great experience. There's a lot of opportunities and resources. Yeah. Definitely a lot of great entrepreneurs have not been born in the U.S. They come yeah. here. They start businesses, they see a need, they work hard, they expand, they take advantage of an opportunity, and they build a business. And the only advice I would give is they got to jump in the water. You know, you are going to run into a wall sometimes. You got to figure out how you're going to get around it, over it, under it. Keep talking to people. Just constantly ask people, constantly talk to people, find mentors, find people in the industry who have already done it. Just learn from people who are already out there and just keep on learning because you're going to be constantly doing things you've never done before and you got to figure out how to do it and um, it's a never-ending process and you, don't give up. How would you recommend that the School of Business help to continue to support their students? More, like uh, more of this. <laughs> you know, what's really cool is it's not just the School of Business but what we've got is all of George Mason in here. You know, we've got science students and engineering students and history majors and PhDs in chemical engineering. And you know, bringing that all together is so important.